How's it going everybody? Today I wanted to do an experiment and see if I could create a deployable painting room in the middle of my workshop. Here's what I came up with. <laughs> Hell yeah! A couple of months ago, I came across these bendable curtain tracks over on Amazon, and I figured they would be perfect for this. In this video, I used 40 feet of it to wrap around my assembly workbench. They give you these really cool brackets to attach to the ceiling, that way you can move things around even after you get them installed. These are really nice to work with because you can screw them directly to the ceiling. As I was installing these, I tried to hit as many studs as possible, but it really didn't seem to matter because I put a bunch of these in the drywall and it seemed to work just fine. They do give you a bunch of drywall anchors if you want to use those, but I didn't use any of them. Now, when you actually start installing the track, it's important to remember there is a right side up to these tracks and even though I installed two of them I somehow managed to get both of them upside down. They do work upside down but it would have been a lot easier to install if I hadn't done that. I eventually figured out that these things are bendable in the same way a coat hanger is. You can actually bend them into whatever shape that you want and there's a little bit of spring back but it does hold whatever shape you put it in. So you can make this track as clean as you want it to. But while installing it I found it was really helpful to kind of pre-bend it into the shape that I wanted and then install it. This made everything go so much quicker. Now the longest track that you can get is about 32 feet. And since I needed right around 40 feet to get all the way around my workbench, I needed to put a joint in the middle of the track. From what I can tell, there doesn't seem to be a great way of attaching these two tracks together. I couldn't find anything that allowed free movement from one track to another with the curtain. I'll show you how I connected these two pieces of the track together a little bit later, but right now I need to install the curtains. I bought 50 feet of this 6 mil painter's plastic and I figured this would be perfect for a painting curtain. Now the top of the curtain needed to be incredibly sturdy. I was a little bit worried about it ripping over time and so I decided what I needed to do was to double up the material on the top of the curtain. Now since I did this method, I've learned that a lot of people actually put this stuff right on the sewing machine and apparently that works very well, so that's definitely an option. But after a little bit of trial and error, I found hot glue works really well for this. The cool thing about the hot glue is it gets just hot enough to where it actually melts the plastic just a little bit and gives almost a weld bond to the material. Behind the scenes, I used a multitude of different options including an iron, a heat gun, I tried a bunch of different things but the hot glue really seemed to work the best. Now this process ended up working out very well, but it did take two hours of non-stop gluing. Oh, thank God. Now that the plastic is folded over, I can start installing the grommets. These are going to be the little eyelets that the hooks on the curtain track are going to attach to, so they need to be incredibly strong. I found this kit over on Amazon that gets you a hundred of these eyelets, plus all of the tools needed to install them. So I'm going to be putting a link to these down in the description as well. This thing was perfect for this project. The process was actually really straightforward. I used this piece of wood to act as a spacer because I wanted these every eight inches, and I could use that to determine where to punch my first hole. Then I can put the first half of the grommet underneath the plastic on top of an anvil and then poke that through the plastic, and then I can put the other half of the grommet on top and then set it into place using this setting tool. My only problem is that once again I had 50 feet of this to do which means I had to do this 75 times. Once that was done I had 75 of these rollers to attach to these hooks. I decided to go through and bend each one of them over so that they cannot become unhooked and then I could just attach that through each of the eyelets. I also decided to bend this part of the hook over so that they wouldn't come off of the eyelets either, making this a perfectly secure attachment. Now you can see this little bit of extra plastic that I have in the top of the curtain here. My thought was that once I actually started installing the curtain, I would want a little bit of plastic sticking up above the track so I didn't get any paint or finishes on the track itself. And this part ended up working out very well. Although if you wanted to, you could have them hang a little bit lower and it'd probably look a little bit cleaner. But for me, it's function over form. And now I can finally hang the curtain on the track. I used this open section in the middle of the track to install all of the rollers. It was just as simple as making sure that the curtain was in the correct orientation when I was installing it and putting each of the rollers on the track one at a time. One of the coolest things about this system is how much you can customize it. I cut my curtain into three different sections so that I would have doorways to walk through, but you can really set this up however you want. I didn't want to have to pull around too many of these curtains, so I didn't make too many of these doorways. But if you wanted to, you could even leave the tops of the curtains intact, and that way you would still have the doorway, but then you would only have to pull the curtain through once. I was a little worried that if if I was going to do that, it would have ended up tearing the curtain in the middle and then I would have ended up with two different curtains anyway. But there's a multitude of ways of attaching the curtains together. One of the things I thought about using but I ended up not going with was a zip strip system. This stuff is designed to stick right to the painter's plastic and give you mobile doorways. I think that would be such a cool addition to this, but unfortunately it costs money, so I didn't buy it. The tracks come with these little clips that go over the end of the track, and this keeps the rollers from coming off of each end. Once those were attached, I decided to connect the two ends of my track together by drilling a hole through it and then putting a bolt and a wing nut through it. This way both ends of my track would stay aligned. 
Next, I needed to drill two holes over on the wall where the curtains are going to be stored when not in use. There's so much plastic here, I needed a way of holding the curtain up against the wall and out of the way. So my solution for now is just to put a bungee cord around the plastic and kind of push it out of the way. I might be adding another bungee cord eventually. And then to deploy it, all you gotta do is detach the bungee cord and just walk down the track with it. It's really easy. <laughs> Hell yeah! And it really is that easy, it's a deployable paint booth. <laughs> when I need to use it, I can go ahead and deploy it so I don't get any paint or finishes on any of my tools, and when I don't need it, it's easily storable so that it's nice and out of the way when I don't need it. Like I said, there's definitely a lot of really cool ways you can upgrade a system like this. I'm going to be leaving a link to all the products I mentioned in this video, so go check out the description if you want to see any of the products that I used. And let me know if there's any of this that you would do differently. I'd love to hear what you guys have made in your own shops. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Catch y'all next time.